What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released iOS 18.1 to everyone. In this video, I'll be showing what is new inside the software. We've got quite a bit to talk about. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing has to do with brand new control center toggles. We got quite a bit in here. So let's start off with going to add a control. And we have new connectivity controls for VPN and satellite. So I'm not sure where satellite is in here. I'm pretty sure I gotta search it. They should be somewhere in here, but we do have a new satellite toggle. So dedicated VPN, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, personal hotspot. I'm pretty sure pretty much all these are brand new in here, but it's very nice that we have them so we can customize our control center even further. Now, the next thing is inside of settings. So if we were to go into our control center settings, this is now no longer useless. So before we just show this here and have access within apps and that would be pretty much it. But now we have a dedicated reset control center button. So what this will do is we'll reset it to the default layout, which we actually have a brand new default layout here inside of iOS 18.1 as well. So if you wanna see the default layout, all you have to do is press reset control center. And now the next change has to do with Apple intelligence. So I have an iPhone 14 pro right here, which is not supported with Apple intelligence. If you have an iPhone 15 pro or an iPhone 16 or 16 pro, then you'll have Apple Intelligence features. So to turn those on, all you have to do is go into settings and then scroll down to Siri and Apple Intelligence and Siri, and you'll see a brand new thing in here. So I don't know why I had this right here, but I do not have Apple Intelligence, unfortunately. You'll see that Siri and Apple Intelligence have just been combined into one section. I get access to features like writing tools. I could show you videos from my MacBook since my MacBook has those. And we also have in the Photos app, being able to clean up your photos a little bit. So I also will show that from the Mac as well, since I have access to that on the Mac. And we also have summarizing in mail and messages. Now our next change has to do with the phone app. So if I were to call somebody inside the phone app right here, you now have this brand new button right here for call recording. So if you were to press continue, alert the person on the other side that your call is being recorded. And yeah, you'll be able to take notes on the call. And this is not Apple intelligence, which a lot of people thought it would be. You just have access to recording calls. And if you can take a look at the notes right here and there it is right here. Now our next change has to do with the music app. So if you were to go to your library and then go to playlists, you can see we have a brand new animation for going into playlists. So this is the navigation transition animation that is new inside of Swift UI. And they did not put it in iOS 18.0, they put it in 18.1. This is a really nice animation that we have here inside the music app. And now the next change also has to do with the control center. If you were to scroll down to the connectivity settings, you're gonna see it looks a lot different. Personally, I do not like this design myself as I prefer it all in the list view. But we do having it looking like this now. So if you really like it like this, then this is a win. I guess it does make the Wi-Fi, AirDrop, Settler, and Bluetooth more prominent. Meanwhile, AirPlay mode, Hotspot, Satellite are not as important for these. But it's also really nice to see that Apple is constantly tweaking the control center, trying to make it better for everyone, even though that wasn't a good change. Now, next change has to do with the NFC chip inside the iPhones. Before, the NFC chip was only locked to Apple Pay and a couple other Apple exclusive features, but now developers will now be able to pay Apple to get, a, to get the ability to use the NFC chip inside the iPhone. So that means that we can get Google Pay on the iPhone pretty soon if Google really wanted to pay that fee, and they think that they'll get that. And along with that, there are government IDs that you'll be able to do at a future date. Hotels can have their own app do their keys as well. And event ticket apps and so much more. So basically the NFC chip will basically be able to do a lot more things as soon as developers opt into being able to do it. Anyways, that is pretty much everything that you can expect here when updating to iOS 18.1. Now, if you do have an Apple intelligence capable device, I highly suggest watching the Mac OS video right here as I'll be going a lot more depth into Apple intelligence because I personally cannot show it to you myself as I have a 14 Pro and I do not have an iPhone 16 or 15 Pro anywhere in my house. So I cannot show you, unfortunately. But I do have a MacBook capable. So if you are interested in seeing those Apple intelligence features on the Mac, they're pretty much the same thing as a phone. So be sure to watch that video. I'll cover those first. And thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share through to your friends. Download my apps, Willy Widgets, and Willy Study down in the description down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.